Hi all. Falkovan is one of those brands that has long offered high-end stainless steel survival and outdoor knives, including the famous Japanese COS laminated. If Falknerven remains a reference, the knife brand is beginning to develop its ranges, in particular by offering some of its models in LMAX steel or by expanding its range with full tang design knives as we will see. In November 2020, Falknerven offered on its website a limited series of around 50 copies in the test version of its new F1X knife in LMAX steel. At the time, I had acquired one of these copies, the blade of which I had engraved in the name of the YouTube channel that I wanted to create. I really appreciate this Falknerven F1X for the reasons that I will explain to you. In 2022 this famous F1X in LMAX steel went from the test version to the market. The difference is the small screen print on the left side of the blade with two spear throwers and three crowns. This X version completes the range of classic F1 and Pro. This X series is the new Falknerven range of knives in full tank construction. As in each range, the knives are available in increasing sizes, F, S and A. This construction has several advantages and a relatively small constraint. The main advantage is durability. The tang extends from the tip of the knife to its rear end over its full height and width. The handle is made of two scales in thermoran, a resistant polymer that offers excellent grip. These scales sandwich the tang to form the handle. They are fixed by torx screws. The back of the handle is therefore made of tang and even if you perform batoning there is no risk of damaging the handle, it is the steel that takes the impact. It is also quite simple to change the scales if despite everything they have been damaged. Do-it-yourselfers can even customize their knife because it is quite easy to design micarta or wood scales. The only small inconvenience is that in cold weather, the palm of the hand is slightly in contact with the steel tang which is flush with the handle. However, steel is very conductive and this thermal conduction always takes place from the hot source to the cold source. The heat of the hand is therefore transferred to the metal, which causes the sensation of cold. Remember that wooden plastics are not conductive and therefore avoid the feeling of cold. Consequently, the handles which completely encompass the tang perfectly isolate the palm of the hand from contact with the steel. This is to be taken into consideration if you use your knife frequently in winter. We can also consider that a full handle is prettier. But for my part, I consider that the resistance conferred on the knife by the simple construction, largely compensates for the inconvenience of contact with the metal, especially since in very cold weather you can put on gloves which act as an insulator and in addition protects the hands well from shocks, limits the risk of cuts, absorbs sweat and prevents the appearance of blisters. One of the particularities of Falknerven knives is their convex grind blade. A particularly effective grind on wood and similar to that of axes. Despite its modest size, this F1X is nonetheless impressive and very efficient. The classic F1 is basically a knife designed for Swedish Air Force pilots. A light and versatile knife to allow pilots to fend for themselves in the event of an ejection from their cockpit or a crash. The knife would first cut a parachute strap to get out of it, then left to himself and nature the pilot could rely on his knife. In this F1X version it is even more stocky and solid. It is practical to transport, allows a good grip because it is very well balanced. This small knife offers maximum possibilities. It is the perfect outdoor knife for small operations, during hiking, in camp. It is more than robust enough to ensure in survival conditions, it would even be effective as a hunting knife. Its length to blade thickness ratio makes it a particularly solid knife. This knife is an ideal companion for small excursions in the great outdoors. You can see that the end of the blade of this F1X is not very thin, it is also a guarantee of robustness because the tip of a knife is a generally sensitive and fragile area if it is very thin. This slightly protruding point makes this F1X a knife with a less aggressive style, less threatening. In other words, a lightweight but ultra-robust utility. It comes with a zidal sheath. A solid polymer. The case locking system is particularly effective. Retention is perfect. Now let's talk about LMAX Steel. 
If Faulkner van knives are made of Japanese COS laminated or VG10 steels, this F1X is therefore distinguished by its LMAX steel blade. It is an alloy made by the Swedish company Utaho. The composition of this steel is quite close to the Bulher M390 steel as you can see with these tables, M390 which is itself almost identical to the CPM20 CV steel from the American company Crucible Industries. LMAX is a steel that is very resistant to corrosion, it is also very resistant to wear. It will retain its beautiful metallic appearance and sharpness after multiple uses. In general, it is considered that steels with such a carbon content are a little too hard to really withstand shocks. But this steel comes from powder metallurgy which optimizes the properties of the alloy. It is more homogeneous, with a better structuring of its elements between them. Its fineness of grain as well as the proportion of vanadium makes it despite everything resilient and therefore resistant to shocks. On the other hand, such a thick blade makes the knife extremely strong and in particular resistant to torsion. It would probably take considerable force to break the blade and no doubt it's impossible to break it with human physical force alone. We can therefore use the knives for rough tasks without apprehension. It is designed to resist. Some people may find that LMAX is too difficult to steel to sharpen for a survival knife, especially since the convex grind is quite technical to sharpen. But the blades that retain their edge for a long time remain operational after multiple tasks. It is also a guarantee of longevity of the knife. Moreover, in our time, being in a survival situation generally lasts hardly more than a few days before being rescued, except in extreme cases of course. We will therefore not necessarily need to have to sharpen our knife for the duration of survival. Moreover, having to sharpen a knife generates energy expenditure and survival experts will no doubt explain to you that it is necessary to preserve one's forces as much as possible when one is in a survival situation. So the use of a steel like LMAX is relevant. What counts above all is solidity, durability and efficiency. This small Faulkner knife is perfect for all nature outings. Ultra robust, easy to transport, with a super sheath that is an ideal companion. I hope you liked this video, if so you can like, share, comment and of course subscribe without forgetting to activate the bell so as not to miss any publications. Thank you all and see you soon for other knives.